Welcome to the Flip Gizzards mini farm. Today we are going to be planting these five rows plus these six rows right here. Uh, we're going to be planting some fall vegetables. So, let's see what we got. Between row three and four, there's a tree stump. I left that there so I know where it is so I don't trip over it. That will not come out. I'm going to go ahead and lay everything out here. We got, I got these basil plants at Kroger for $2. They're starting to get fresh growth on the bottom. You can mine here in southeast central Texas. It's been 100 degrees every day for the past however many days it's been. It's been a lot. Finally rained the other day. Got all this rotor tiller up. So if now I think I'm just going to plant each one of these as is in the dirt, straight in right there, and then we're going to work on the rest of these rows. Here I have an assortment of plants. i got this rosemary over here to the side, and this pepper plant. i got those from Lowe's. The rest of these came from my local co-op. So let's get all these spaced out, laid out, and see where everything's going to go, and then see where we're going to fill in with seeds. All right, I've got all my vegetable starts all laid out in the garden. I've got here my tactical pen, my not-so-tactical notebook. You a tactical pen because you never know when shit's going to get real in the garden. Okay, right here I have a yellow bell pepper, a keystone bell pepper, another keystone bell pepper. Mix in a little rosemary. I scooted that basil down to make room for this pepper. It's going to be next to these super kai hot peppers right here. I'm going to space out these sweet banana peppers across this entire row. Uh, this row will be left for seeds. And these are all early girl tomatoes that I'm going to start. These five rows right here is going to be left for seeds. And then right here I'm going to add two mint plants to the ground. Those should space out and provide some ground cover. And uh, Trudy might try to eat them through the fence. We'll see what happens. It'll make your breath smell good. Here, here's my layout of exactly how I got them sitting right there. So start putting them in the ground and uh, see how this turns out. All right, here we are at the first early girl tomato. I'm going to use a little shovel to do uh, those basils and that stuff on the end because I didn't rotor tiller that quite so much. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to start off by just putting a small hole in the ground right here. And then this tomato, we want to gently release it from the pot. We want to break up the roots here so they're not so clumped together so they'll spread out. The rest of these I don't think I'm going to be able to film because this might prove to be pretty difficult. We want our roots to spread out. We don't want them to stay clumped up. Oh, and I'm going to put fertilizer in here. So, be right back. Okay, I'm going to notch out this little spot in the ground right here. So I'm going to put some fertilizer on the base of this plant. And whenever you're, you want to make sure that these little leaves are buried at the bottom. Sometimes I have luck with plucking these little ones off. That way they're not in the ground. And the rest of these, we'll see what happens. All right, on these banana pebbles here, those root systems weren't particularly great. You know, so the roots only went about maybe three quarters of an inch down in the little pots. We'll have to watch and see how those do. Give them some fertilizer and some root helper down there at the bottom. So, see if they turn out any good. Let's keep going. Okay, that didn't take long at all. We've got yellow bell pepper, keystone bell peppers right here, rosemary, basil, chili peppers, empty row for seeds. We got my super kind of peppers right here, basil on the end, random tree stump that won't come out. The only three, and then that one, banana peppers, their roots just weren't real good. So, again, we'll just have to see how long those make it or if they survive. Looks like I'll need to put a little more dirt around the bottom of that one. And then we got these early girl tomatoes. I'm going to go inside and consult my seed collection and see what else we're going to put in the ground in here. All 
But I'm going to start off by adding a couple of rows of onions. I don't know where I'm going to add them just yet. I have these left from the springtime. They haven't rotted yet, miraculously. Uh, those over there have already started to grow in the bag. So let's go see if they're any good to plant them in the ground. All right, this row right here. I put those onions in there, but they might be a little dry. Oh, we got a free ranger. Ma'am, where are your friends? So I don't know if they're actually going to work or not, because they are quite dry. Some of them spilled right there, but I don't think I'm too concerned with them. And even if they do pop up green onions, I'll cut them and use them. Uh, so I'm going to intercrop some, probably some beans in there with it, just so this row's not wasted in case the onions don't come up. And we'll figure out what's going to go on the rest of them. That's it. Whoops. I think there's going to be purple top turnip seeds growing everywhere over here. Good thing that shit's only $3 a pound. <sighs> anyway, so here's what I got left. Uh, I think the ground's a little too hard for purple top turnip seeds to grow over here. So I'm going to have to go get some more. Oh, that was a disaster. Alright. Finished planting all this stuff just in time for it to rain. Maybe I'll get a nice gentle rain that won't wash my seeds out of the ground. So we got all these tomatoes, lima beans, bush beans, banana peppers, a few little beans here on the end, romaine lettuce, uh, early girl tomatoes, onions mixed with bush beans, um, Swiss chard, uh, prolific straight neck squash. Can't have too many of those because I can eat those, family can eat those, friends can eat those, animals can eat those. That'll save on food. It is raining. Let me go get inside. Welcome to the because it hasn't rained in such a long time. It's had rain like four days in a row now, everything from gentle to 3 a.m. monsoons. Just gonna stay under here and enjoy it. I like to use this method of just writing everything down because sometimes the tags disappear. You can put stakes in the garden, something can get switched. It's on paper, it's in my gardening notebook with all my seeds. <sighs> fucking ants. That way I can just write everything down and where it is. Tag bowls where I can still identify where it is. So, well, let's get planting. 